Now I am alone. Now I am alone. Now I'm alone. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I! Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage wand, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit, and all for nothing. For Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him, or he to Hecuba, that he should weep for her? What did he do? Had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have, he would drown the stage in tears. Cleave the general ear with horrid speech. Make mad the guilty and appall the free. Confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. Yet I, a dull and muddy metalled rascal, peak like John of Dreams, unpregnant of my cause, and can say nothing. No, not for a king upon whose property and most dear life a damned defeat was made. Am I a coward? Am I a coward? Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? Breaks my pate across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie of the throat as deep as to the lungs. Who does me this? Huh? Swans, I should take it, for it cannot be, but I am pigeon-livered and lack gall to make oppression bitter. Fatted all the region kites with this slave's awful, bloody, bloody villain! Remorseless, lecherous, treacherous, kindless villain! Oh, vengeance! What an ass am I. This is most brave that I, the son of a dear father murdered. Prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell, must like a whore unpack my heart with words. Fall a cursing like a very drab scullion, fly upon it, flow about my brain. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have, by the very cunning of the scene, been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions. For murder, though it had no tongue, will speak with most miraculous organ. I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before my uncle. I'll observe his looks. I'll tempt him to the quick. And if he do but blench, I know my cause. The spirit that I have seen may be the devil. And the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. And perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, for he is very potent with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. 
I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play is the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. <laughs>